Right, Billy. Um, start off with uh, Newport County, six in the league, uh, through in the FA Cup, still in the Johnston's paint. How are you finding it so far? Yeah, it's going really well. Um, I had, a, I had a chance to go down there and, and uh, hopefully play, which I've done that. I've played, I've played a few games now. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling fit. Um, manager Justin Edward just gave me a phone call and said, listen, come down. Um, we've, got, we've got a few injuries. want to cover you for a few, um, a few positions, and I've done that. So um, I'm pleased, like you say, we're on, a, we're on a good run, and we've just got to keep it going. Yeah, and uh, how do you feel about coming back to Cheltenham for the first time since leaving? Really good. It's, um, it's something that you've always got to do as a footballer. Uh, I've, done it, I've done it a few times uh, with past clubs, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. It's good to see a few, um, few faces. I would say that it's, it's been a long time, but it actually hasn't. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's good that it's come around so quick. Yeah, and there's been a lot of debate and, and talk about your departure. You know, after playing pretty much every game last season, and can you just talk me through exactly what happened from your point of view with with the departure just before deadline? Just before the August deadline, wasn't it, that you went? It was, yeah. I'd, um, I'd a meeting with the manager like a couple of weeks before the deadline. Um, he spoke to me about how, how I felt, how, how, I was, how I was feeling, I was feeling fit, fresh, everything. I said, yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good, just want to play. He um, said, I understand that. Um, I said, listen, I know you've bought obviously Craig in, uh, but I'd like to obviously fight for my place off the back of last season, I feel I should be playing um, and I'll continue to do that. And he said, yeah, that's fine. Um, but then had a couple of games in between that, I think we went to West Ham, went to Ferry, um, and I was on the bench, had chances to come on and didn't, um, for whatever reasons the manager had at the time. I, I, I was looking like I wasn't going to play, and from then on I kind of knew the right was on the wall. Um, and then spoke to him on the Monday, he asked to speak to me, told me that there was an offer for me to, to leave, so um, the offer came from him and I, I had a decision to make because obviously it came at a time where if, if, you, uh, if you leave before a certain time you only you can only play in the lower leagues and, and I wanted to, to carry on as a league player so I had a, had a chat with, uh, with my family, with my agent and um, yeah, I decided that I'd like to look after myself after my family and that was the decision I made that I had to, I had, I had to leave. Yeah. Was, it, was it really the Berry game where you, you had two defensive injuries and you didn't get on? Was that the one where you really thought you're probably not going to get a chance from then yeah, on? Yeah, I remember, I remember Craig going, going down five minutes into the game, might have been less than that, might have been a bit, a bit longer and, um, and I turned and managed to turn around. Uh, decided to put to put Sido on. Um, so that that was a that was a shock straight away because you kind of think um, a straight swap, left back for left back. Uh, and then Stevie went down I think just after or just before half time. Uh, and I wasn't I wasn't chosen then either. So I kind of it, it was frustrating, you know, you just want you just want to play games. So for whatever reason the manager's got to make decisions and the manager made those decisions and I haven't to this day I, I haven't got I haven't got a problem with that. It's, um, every every manager has got has got hard decisions to make. Um, it's not easy being a manager, but as a player, you want to play, and you kind of you get frustrated when you feel you should be playing and you don't get the opportunity. So that was that was what that is what happened, and I um, ended up obviously. I think by the following week it had all been done and dusted. Yeah. So in terms of the personal situation with you and the manager, there's, there's not an issue there. You've never had a sort of falling out with him over anything. Really. Oh no, nothing. He's um, he's been good as gold in me, the, uh, especially last season. The, uh, how positive I felt my season was. Uh, he was always speaking to me, always always there if, if you wanted to kind of speak to him about anything. And, and he's that kind of manager. He's very approachable and. Um, yeah, it was very good, and obviously for me, the only disappointing thing was the, the fact that off of, uh, if my season wasn't very productive as it was last year, then I, then I wouldn't have asked so many questions. And the fact that it was a good season for me, it was successful in my eyes. Uh, to go from one extreme to the other, and within what two months of the season, you're then being asked to leave. So, uh, but no, there was ne there was never never ever a falling out. And, uh, and I'll see him Saturday and I'll wish him all the best and shake his hand. Yeah. Well, during pre-season, you, were you given the impression there that you were going to still be you know, first choice left back and everything was going to carry on as it was for the majority of last season? Yeah, I did, I did until um, the 
signed Craig, because uh, you kind of think, I know kind of some managers want two players for every, every position. Um, we didn't last year, which was kind of myself, and I, I thought it was just going to be the same again. But after we signed him and then got into the pre-season games, I wasn't playing as many pre-season games as I'd like to. Um, I was in the ones that maybe players don't want to be in, the ones that the first team players don't have to play in or don't have to show up to, and you kind of think, well, if I'm not part of that, you're, you're half then thinking, well, all right, am I still going to play? Am I going to start the season? And the season started, and I didn't, and I didn't start. So I never, I never once went in there ranting and raving, I'm not like that, I never will be like that. I just went to see him when I, when I did off the back of knowing or wanting to know what was going on with myself. Yeah, and were you ever given a specific reason why you didn't sort of drop down the packing order? No, no, never. Um, I know obviously the manager put in the in papers or, uh, or various videos that I, that I did a brick wall. Um, to me, it was, I don't know what kind, what kind of comment it was. I can't go from the back of coming off the back of playing what four odd games last season to suddenly a brick wall in the space of two months. So. That's, yeah, of course, that's disappointing. Um, spurs you on a bit, to be quite honest. Um, and I'm just pleased that I found, I found a club that, uh, that I'm happy playing at. Um, I'll play when I'm needed, and, and it's going well. Yeah, so you've got no, no grudges, so to speak, but you, you certainly want to show, if you play on Saturday, that you, 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 know, you haven't been you at brick wall, or you've come out the other side of the brick wall. Yeah, of course, you want to. You always want to prove people wrong, whether it's ex managers, ex players. Um, that's just that's just something footballers want to do. Um, but no, I'm, re I'm really looking forward to it. I'm I'm still I'm still glad that I've left. I never wanted to really leave, but deep down, like I said before, you're a footballer. You want to play games. If you're not going to play the whole of the season, then there's no point staying somewhere that you're not wanted and, and you're not going to feature. So uh, no, it's, it's yeah, it's still disappointing that I left, but. I've, I've gone on, I've moved on, and um, yeah, now I'm at Liverpool. Yeah. Uh, what stands out from last season? She signed a two-year deal, and like you said, the first year couldn't really have gone any better, apart from be it finished with promotion. That's the only thing probably could have topped it off with last season. Yeah, it would have been great. We had a looking back, we had a, probably a bit of a wobble towards the end of the season. Um, that could have gone, that could have gone differently. A few results, but every every manager, every team says it. If uh, if only it wasn't to be, but. No, when I signed two years, I was hoping to have two years, and, and it's not longer, but that's not, that wasn't the case. Yeah, and you, do you know what your final assist tally was? Because you set a lot up directly, and also a lot of other that led to goals, balls into the box. Must have been I don't, no, I don't know. Um, no, I really don't know. Um, I think it must have been close to 20 in total. Yeah, yeah pretty pleased with that. I'm disappointed I didn't actually score. Um, I got a bit of ribbon from a few of the boys to score on the debut for Newport. Not scoring like 40 games for Cheltenham, but to have that many assists, I was, I was just as pleased with. Yeah, and I think most most Cheltenham fans enjoyed watching you play last season, and you're a popular player. But there's one game that always comes up when people when people want to criticise, and that's Port Vale away. I mean, do you think that might have been in the manager's thoughts because the first half there, because you did you did struggle against obviously a player who got into the team of the year, so he's obviously a decent player. But yeah, I mean, it was it was a, I think it was a bad day all round. It was, Kind of to come up against someone like that, I'd, I'd, do, it, I'd do it differently. Um, every, everyone talks about the team helping each other, and maybe we didn't do enough of that all over the pitch that day. Um, but yeah, it's, it's one of them games I, I look back and yeah, I, I admit, I didn't play very well, didn't handle him very well, didn't cope with him very well. Um, but that's, you're going to get games like that. You're gonna, as, as a fullback, you're going to come up against quick, tricky wingers, and I did that that day. I mean, uh, there's probably there probably are some wingers in the league last year that they didn't like playing against me because I pushed them the other way. So there's always there's always different different ways and different things to, to think about. But yeah, to, from that from that game, it might it might have uh, thought in a, in a manager's mind. I don't know, but you never know. Yeah, but you didn't have too many bad games last time. I don't remember too many games where you were exposed uh, by a fire winning. No, I kind of, I kind of try and get myself into positions where I, where that doesn't happen. And um, that game, it, it didn't play out very well. Um, I 
remember sitting there at half time in the change room and everyone gone back out thinking, yeah, you shot yourself in the foot a bit there. You didn't, you didn't perform very well. You, you kind of always criticise your, your own performance and that's well done. Yeah, there's a few players with Cheltenham links at Newport, isn't there? David Pike, who thinks been suspended at the moment, Chris Zabrowski injured, and Ryan Burge, is he, is he fit at the moment or is he injured as well? Because no. no, none of them were in the team for the, for the cup game, were yeah, they? Yeah, no, he's never unfortunately done his, uh, done his knee uh, last week for brain tree. Uh, Burge has got a slight niggling injury still, quite suspended, so none of them will feature this Saturday. So hopefully, um, hopefully I will. But we'll, we'll see what the manager what does. Yeah, you came on last Friday, didn't you? I think, the last league game. Or was that the yeah the last league game? You came on and on the bench. So who, who are you sort of battling with for starting place at the moment? Well, this, to be honest, the club's got so many injuries. Um, the, there's players coming back, and then they might get another niggle, or they might uh, like just just find themselves kind of not being at not being at the races. So the manager keeps everything pretty close to his chest. He doesn't. He doesn't name the team till we're in the changing room. He doesn't. We don't tend to do much shape on on any opposition. We just tend to look after ourselves. So it's uh, no. There's a, there's a few players in a few different positions. So it's just we'll see Saturday, come Saturday if, like, if I'm playing or not. Yeah, and a lot of the teams that have come up from the conference have gone gone up and challenged straight away, haven't they? And Mansfield are going well, and, and Newport as well. It's, you don't you not have any problems coping with the, the level. And is there a real belief that you can do something this season? Yeah, I mean, we don't. I, n I never really hear the manager talk too much about what he wants this season. I think it's just it's still a learning curve. Um, we're still building as a club to be bigger and better all the time. There's, there's little things changing all the time that people never see. Um, but he's a successful person in himself. He played very many leagues in the Premiership, so he wants he wants to better himself. He wants to better the football club, and I'm sure. In the back of his mind, he knows line in sixth. You never know coming into the season if we're there, there or thereabouts. Yeah, and finally, Billy, a lot of people are disappointed to see you go, but there's been a lot of uh, rumours flying around about various things. I mean, without going into too much detail, can you just uh, confirm that there's no truth in any of the, the things that have been spoken about? Uh, yeah, my sister's happily married, um, and she's not having an affair with anyone. Nor is my wife, she's firmly told me that she's not. So they're the only rumours as, as I've heard of so far. Um, but any more rumours, no, they're all, don't listen to them, they're all rubbish. Um, there's no problems between me and the gaffer or me and Neil. So yeah, I look forward to Saturday and seeing everyone. Yeah, cheers, Willie. No problem.